What? 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 Huh? What's up, everybody? What's happening, my buddies? So, yeah, all of our bud people. All of our bud adjacent accoutrements. Would you call me a kusha <laughs> You don't know what that word means anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a kusha down in my private area. <laughs> Not sure. Not sure about that. <laughs> so what's up? What's up with you, Dick Boots? How, how are things going with you, sir? Oh, you know, been all right. Been all right. It's a hot mug today. It is hot. It, it is, is hot. a hot son of a gun today. When I turned on the computer earlier down there where it says... 86 sunny it was it said like 94 heat advisory yeah it feels hotter than that yeah it's it supposed does. to get super hot tomorrow 100 and something to tomorrow really yeah tomorrow's supposed to be uh, you know uh, verbial fry the egg on the sidewalk well, kind of thing you know we'll make it we'll make it through yeah you're gonna fry some eggs on the sidewalk I don't know about that but it's hard to eat with the gravel <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not exactly protein no, it hurts your teeth. It's a weird type of omelet. <laughs> oh, man. So we had a interesting week here at the Game Beaters. Indeed, yeah. We were at the, the Mo Game Con. Yeah, the Mo Game Con. Mo Game Con was fun. It was a good time. Took a drive up in, early in the morning. Got I got up at like 5 a.m. Got my ass up at 7.30, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's early for old Mr. Boots. Seven thirty. I thought we left at seven. Oh, maybe we did. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> it was even earlier. So early, I didn't even know what time it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So we did that. We uh, and then also, we'll talk about this later too. But um, we did that video on Colonel Sanders. That's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, goodness. And uh, We didn't know what kind of shit we were stirring up. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we, we really didn't. We pissed off the, uh, <laughs> the the Colonel Sanders family with our video. What's up, Evil Dan? I don't know if we pissed them off. Ah, I'm just They playing. certainly put us in our place. Yeah. That's for sure. They refuted everything we said. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is fine. I mean... You know what? The one thing they didn't refute in this video is um, that Colonel Sanders is actually a robot body with a chicken inside. Uh -oh. They didn't say that never happened. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's welcome these guys to the stream. What's up, Great White North? DJ Rudin, Evil Dan. Indeed. Of the Game Beaters crew. What's up, fellas? Evil, sorry you lost old Harrison Bader for a, for a freaking pitching scrub. I don't know what kind of deal that was, but... Uh, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a bit odd. Thought the Cardinals were going to be making some more deals than they did, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Padre is going to be the team to beat. Mm. Pulled off that deal for Juan Soto and, jo and uh, Josh Hader. Pretty good deal all the way around for all Padres. I mean, they gave up their entire farm system to do it, but hey, three—you get three, uh, three postseason runs of Juan Soto before you have to sign him long term. He already turned down four hundred and forty something million dollars, fifteen-year, four hundred and something million dollar contract with the Nats. He turned down. Wow. <laughs> That's why the Nats traded him. <clears throat> why did he turn that down? He wanted to play for a winner. Oh. He thought the Nats would take too long to rebuild. Makes sense, I guess. And he's only twenty-three. Yeah. And he's gotten just crazy numbers for a 23-year-old. I mean, like, you look at him, like, almost every metric, and uh, the only player that's been better than him at eight, by age 23 is Ted Williams. Hmm. The only player yeah, that's, that's been better than him by age 23 has been Ted Williams. That's impressive. <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. What's up, Slayer? What's happening, Slayer? Oh, yeah, Rudin, how, Rudin had him a great wrestling weekend. Tell yeah. you what, went to that uh, Ric Flair last match and then went to SummerSlam. I saw one picture of Ric Flair after the match. He's just, like, covered in blood. Yeah, I thought the match itself was a bit... I don't know. I get what ha I get what happens. You get so into it, you can't stop. You can't retire. You can't... It's like it's in your blood type of thing, but... 
I don't know if that match needed to happen. Hmm. SummerSlam was pretty enter- entertaining, I thought. You know, Lesnar comes out and takes a tractor and <laughs> uproots the, the whole entire ring. and <laughs> That was fun. That was fun, I thought. Huh. But uh, anyway, uh, Retro Gaming Hero 26. Hey, what's up, Retro Gaming Hero 26? Thanks for popping in here, buddy. Playing some Pokemon Shining Pearl. Oh. You know, that's something we haven't really done a whole lot on this channel is Pokemon. Yeah, we've done one, maybe two times. Yeah. But, yeah. We kind of bagged on it a little oh, bit. Oh, I'm not a big Pokemon guy. I I really liked uh, the Final Fantasy Adventure for Game Boy that I think Nintendo kind of used as a as kind of a template for Pokemon. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I've heard other people say that not only with that game, but, like, they kind of stole from other games for Pokemon. Like, there was, like... Well, I guess maybe Digimon was first, actually. Mm. If you go way back. But What's up, Freak of Four? They're not owned by Nintendo, either. Digimon, they're owned by some other group. Digimon, yeah, Digimon's owned by somebody else. I see. Even, I mean, technically, Nintendo only co-owns Pokemon. They, It's done by, um... Who is it? Um... Retro Freak, a, a company called Retro Freak. Mm. Right on, right on. I think Rick just set the bar for all those other old timers at ringside to get back into the game for one last match. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I mean, there's money to be had, so fuck. I mean, they might as well go get it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I was in that, if I was in those shoes, I would try to go cash out on one last match too. <laughs> I mean, why not? So I'm going to show off a couple games that I got at the, uh, the Mo Game Con. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a couple pickups here I thought I'd share with you guys. See what the, how this goes. I've never done, like, a pickups kind of video, but... Um, so I got a, I got two NES games. And uh, I got a pretty sweet deal on one. Okay, so one I got... Um, I guess this used to belong to Mega Dan. Mm. You guys know Mega Dan, right? I was wondering what that smell was. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And... Uh, <laughs> Gaming Off the Grid had picked it up from Mega Dan, and now I picked it up from Gaming Off the Grid. Uh, Circle of life, folks. Circle of games. That's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> if every, if the games in your collection could tell a story, I bet they'd all have a pretty cool story to tell. <laughs> you probably don't want to hear my game stories. Oh, boy, goodness. <laughs> it's like, it was, Rygar's like, I was up someone's ass. It was, <laughs> it was not fun. <laughs> Oh, Game Freak. That's right, Retro. I was getting your name confused with Game Freak. <laughs> um, then I picked this one up, which I thought was a great deal. Mega Man 2. Oh, uh, yeah. You've been hunting for that one for a while. I just didn't want to pay the money. Yeah, I didn't want to pay the money for it. Yeah. You know, I needed it to complete my Mega Man collection, which, I mean, guys, this is like... I can no death run this game every time. Mm. So I don't know why I didn't have it, right? But um, I got a sweet deal on it. 20 bucks. Can't beat that. And then I grabbed these guys, which some more modern stuff, but um, this is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Mm. And <laughs> you're not a big fan? <laughs> not a big fan? Look, though, yeah. like, uh, Boots pointed out to me that <laughs> this move, this contains $10 cash value Ooh. if you go see Transformers. Ooh, boy! And the coupon is still in here. <laughs> it looks like a check. They have a back where you can endorse and sign it. <laughs> And you get a check, uh, well, it expires July 24th, 2009. Oh. But, you know, there's a, there's like a check in there. We should try to cash it, man, see what happens. But we might play that sometime. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, this is expired, sir. And then I got this one. Cap, Captain Algebra said he thought he heard this was a really good game, so it's Deadpool for the PS3. I thought um, we played that. Maybe not. I've never played this one, so... Okay. Alright. But it looks cool. It's got cable in it. Nice. From the back. And nice. I don't know. Activision, I mean... Yeah. Marvel, you can't go wrong with a Marvel thing. Alright. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of can't go wrong with Marvel, I also picked up this <laughs> Fantastic Four for the Xbox. <laughs> the original... One of the few video games where the game is better than the movie. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, Maybe. Who knows? I've never played this. But, um, Harness the power of four. Two-player co-op mode, oh, dude. We can play this together. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sign me up. And, uh, you know, Booyakasha, we got 
T TMNT. It's all weird because of the green. But uh, that's the Nickelodeon's version, not the one we're playing today. <laughs> and uh, what else we got here? Oh. So we met up with uh, a couple people out there, including Do You Nerd. Yeah, love those good folks. Do You Nerd, they're yeah. a great couple. And uh, we took a picture with their barrel, right? They have a DK barrel they carry around, and they were like, can you take a picture of their barrel? It's famous. <laughs> I so, didn't realize it was as big a deal as it is. <laughs> yeah. And they got this. They gave us this sticker that says, I met the DK barrel. <laughs> That's a barrel of laughs, guys, ain't it? Oh, totally. And then I went to this after up where they were at, and it was a ton of people there. And uh, from Do You Nerd, Lady Lacey gave me this, but I could only get it if I took a shot of her peanut butter jelly shots. So I took a shot of it. <laughs> it was interesting. Interesting <laughs> flavor. What flavor jelly was it? Um, I mean, the whole thing tasted like a cherry NyQuil. So, I guess it was like a, a jelly, a, a strawberry or cherry type thing. Okay, okay. Um, and then, just to round it out, you guys. That's right. He bought the OG. I bought the OG. I got an Atari 2600. And, um... <laughs> he bought a 2600. I bought an Atari 2600, and, a, and he threw in five games, so... And Boots and I got to pick. I picked E.T., Oh boy. Because you can't go wrong with E.T. Oh, right. Can you? I, I don't think you can. I don't think you can go wrong with E.T. You can't go wrong with Qbert. Uh, that's, that's, that's the OG Atari game. They did pretty a classic. Good, that's they, pretty classic. They did a good job on that one. Pretty classic. They, they did a good job on that. Now, this guy, the guy there was pushing this game hard. He, was, it, he might have had like 30 copies or something, but he was like, this is the best game on the Atari, and it's called Surround. Never heard of it. Yeah, and he described it as like the Tron arcade where you're in the, on the motorcycles and mm. you're trying to trap them inside. Okay. Or like a game of Snake okay. with two players. Yeah, yeah. That's what he described it as. So. All right, fair enough. We'll have to give it a shot. And then it's got that classic Atari game art. Yeah. In the front. Yeah, it does. I remember what that guy's name was. The art is pretty cool looking. Yeah, he was pretty great. <clears throat> and then um, we got Pac-Man because. <laughs> It's an alternate Pac-Man. Where else can you play this maze? <laughs> Only on the Atari 2600. It's an exclusive. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you missed your calling there, Dan P. You should have been a car salesman. And then Dick Boots picked this one out. I'll try it. This is called Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes. <laughs> That's right. And uh, we just did a quick video on this, and so watch for that um, on the shorts coming up this week. And uh, that's my pickups, guys. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Let's catch up with the chat here. I didn't pick up anything, by the way, other than a case of herpes. But uh, It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> nah, I didn't pick up anything. I'm not much of a game collector kind of guy. And he didn't find his Zelda. Uh, right, right. Yeah, I Breath of the Wild. I wasn't expecting I would, but... We did come across a pretty cool vinyl shop that had vinyl and old retro games and oh yeah i yeah. mean they were like two floors uh, out of a mall yeah and that was pretty sweet it was it was crazy that thing was gigantic um so that's yeah so uh, yeah catch up with the comments here um recently modified my ps1 so i can play backups on the system very cool 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 and uh ziffix like skittles is back or buckle. Buckle. <laughs> I'm buckle. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, bro. It's our 2600. That's awesome. Thanks, Evil Dan. You've been eating a lot of them Skittles, have you? You've been eating that uh, that, that chemical that's in there that FDA is saying shouldn't be in food or whatever it is? <laughs> We've only been eating it for 20 years, and now yeah. they're finally coming out and saying something. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so what do you guys think? Should we get on with the stream? Do you guys want to see... TMNT 2007 being played on the PlayStation 2. Is that like a thing people want to check out? Well, it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's that say? It's only included in Pokemon cards. 
Uh, where is my Fortnite Save the World? Let's play at. Your Fortnite. Did we say we play Fortnite? I don't know if I remember that conversation. I don't know if I don't know if we did. <laughs> I don't remember saying we play Fortnite, but like we're more PUBG guys anyway. <laughs> I'm if that's even still a thing. I'm probably not any of those things, but <laughs> I mean, I'm not against playing Fortnite. I would play it sometime. I just don't ever play it, so I don't know what I'm missing yeah. or what I'm not. Yeah. So. Blissfully unaware, I suppose. Freak of Force says, rock that shiz, damn me! I saw the TMNT 2007 movie in the theater, and it was the only time I was... Same here, Rudin. I actually saw it in the... Th I was just telling Boots that I saw it in the theater and haven't watched it since, and... I vaguely remember seeing it once. Well, let's... We'll switch over... So here we go. It's playing all in. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Boots is so excited, he's yawning. No, oh, I'm telling you. It's been a been a long few days for old Dicky B. Alright, we're starting to Oh, enter your name. D B The Beach <laughs> The B <laughs> Rob Zombie and Mudvane live in Iowa in four days. Right. Oh, that's that'd be a good show. Yeah. Ask him, uh, ask Rob Zombie what he was thinking when he made that movie trailer. Peoria's own Mudvane. Oh, you think you think uh, Munsters is going to be too hokey? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think know. it's going to be fun. I, I think it's going to be absolute, I mean, I think it's going to be an absolute blast. I think I'll watch it and it'll be fine, but it's like, the trailer is, I think he could have done a better job with the trailer, that's mm. all. I think it's going to be a load of camp, however he did it. Oh, sure. Sure. So, you might as well embrace the camp. Yeah, I'm not against camp. It's just like... I don't know. It's It seems so low budget, especially when you find out, find out the budget they gave him mm. to make the movie. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. We will see. Knowing Zombie is going to be crazy AF. Indeed. Is Mudvayne really from Peoria? I think so. I did not know that. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'm like 75% <laughs> sure they're from Peoria. <clears throat> Look at this game. Look at this sweet TMNT goodness. I don't look like a Ninja Turtle at all. What am I? Oh, that I'm looks wearing... like fog. I don't look like water. <laughs> oh, now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Boots is already raining uh, the water. Oh, this is already a shit storm. <laughs> <laughs> That's watery. That, well, I don't know. Kind of watery. Eva Dan's on a bit of a vacation, so he's he'll be he'll be popping up in the comments. Yeah. But he's here. He's here in spirit and such. Looks like a raptor from Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Leonardo here? I, he kind of looks like a beetle. Like, he's got a shell on his... Uh, well, I guess he does have a shell on his back because he's a turtle, but... He does have kind of a lumbering lope. A little bit. with the. Yeah. He, oh, man, you can't control the camera with the other stick. Oh, boy. So you're just kind of stuck with... PlayStation 2. Not enough people play the PlayStation 2 these days. Well, it, well, the games don't really hold up. Some of them do. Yeah, maybe a few. Mudvayne is from Peoria. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I knew about Disturbed and Slipknot. Where's Disturbed from? Chicago. Oh, okay. And then Slipknot's from uh, Alaska, right? <laughs> from Fairbanks. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Their sound is so cold. <laughs> They're slipping. They're nodding. They're Slipknotting. I've heard good things oh. about this new Slipknot album they got coming, though. Oh, yeah? Like it's a return to form. I didn't know they left form. 
I, I don't really know their stuff that well, though. My son's really into them, so I've kind of gotten into them a little bit. But what's? Do you, can you name any songs you like of theirs, or like what's worth checking out? Oh, I like you know a handful of their newer singles. I've liked "The Devil and I" is pretty good, or "Devil Inside" or whatever it is. Uh, uh, Shop of Town Rags, pretty good tune. Yeah. Um, I don't know all the titles. Do you like that other Corey Taylor band? Um, Stone Sour? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I won't turn it if it's on the radio, but I, I don't seek it out or anything. Right. Hong Kong Sleepover's from the Mac. Well, I wouldn't put Hong Kong Sleepover on the same level as those guys. I like <laughs> Hong Kong Sleepover, but... <laughs> They're probably the best band from Macomb, though. I'll give them that. I don't know if I could name another one. Although, like, three-quarters of Stabbing Westward was from Macomb. <clears throat> Heck yeah. If anybody remembers that one, Hit Wonder. <laughs> what was their big song again? Um... Man, I can't think of it. Fuck, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it was a pretty big hit, though. I mean, oh, you yeah, still it hear huge. it on the radio. It was a huge song. He's just saying. <laughs> Look at me parkour. Yeah, so far you're just uh, you're just kind of going through a sort of an uncharted version of backwards Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Look like to me, but it's kind of like that, isn't it? Fired up a PS2 for the past two days, practicing Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance Fatalities for the very first time. Nice. See? More people need to be playing their PS2. <laughs> How do you practice something if it's for the very first time? Well, that's all you can do, right? Is practice the first time. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't the idea of practicing would be playing it more than once. Oh. I mean, otherwise, you're just, you're just playing it for the first time, you know. The second, third, and, and you know... Subsequent would, would be the practicing. I see. <laughs> I'm being an asshole. I apologize, freak. <laughs> <laughs> I I still don't get it because I feel like even the first time <laughs> is practice, but the first time's the first time, you know. Hmm. The idea of practice is to do something over and over again. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. That is very technical. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I see. This is kind of odd that you're not really seeing a turtle. Yeah, you're seeing... It almost looks like Crash Bandicoot from behind. You see it? <laughs> That's just weird, man. Maybe they got inspiration from, from Crash. Hmm. They're like, you know what's popular? Crash Bandicoot. Let's make a... Teenage if you, get, if like you end up with like a T and T box that you got to jump on top of, I don't know. Something, <laughs> something's, something's off here. <laughs> Leonardo's just not as crazy as Crash, though. They need Mikey in there for that. <laughs> Woohoo! Kawa Bandicoot! Huh. What are these coins that you're picking up? I think they allow you to buy like special things in between uh, levels. Yeah, like pizzas and such. Yeah, or like um I think there's unlockables in this game where mm. you know, like here's an unlockable movie or art or Whatever. Collect all the coins to get all the unlockables. I see. So like a, a predated NFT, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Only you don't have to you can you don't have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you could unlock an NFT that'd be pretty sweet and then sell that shit. I don't see the NFTs are like the only point to have them is money or vanity. I don't, I guess. 
But like, so what's? Yeah, I don't see what the intrinsic value is of it. I don't get the collectability of it because it's like weird. Because <clears throat> people say, well, they're collector's items, but how? In that, it's the only one of the item. I right, guess. I get that, but at the same time, it's like, well, if there's only one. I mean, I suppose if it's something official that you really love to collect, you know, like if I was really into TMNT and I didn't have every TMNT thing and they made a one-of-a-kind NFT of the original creators, Drew Leonardo, holding a basketball or something, and, you know, I had to have it, I get, and that was the only place I could see where it would be worth something, I guess. Yeah, I... I... I don't know. I just I, they haven't really found their niche yet, as far as what is a a good thing for an NFT. You know, I mean, I suppose. Fuck, I don't know if banks you released something. <laughs> yeah. And that's the only way you're gonna get it, and the only one of it. You know, I know that some art, some art things do go for big money. Right. Well, I mean, the big NFTs are those apes. What are they called? The Sleeping Apes or something like that. They, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I forget what they're called, but it's just a bunch of different apes that the, this dude draws. Okay. And um, they're highly sought after. Stabbing Westward is one of my favorite bands. Their popular songs were Save Me and Waking Up Beside You and another one I cannot think of. Right on, yeah. Uh, their original drummer was uh, my former brother-in-law. Hmm. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I am your cousin's uncle's brother's roommate's <laughs> former roommate. <laughs> <laughs> um, shut your butt, says Slayer. Hey, freak, disturb opened up for a local band here that was big for a second. The band's called Relative Ash. Hmm. I want to say I've heard of them, but maybe not. Got a question for you. Would you rather have a new house or a 500,000 pound Charizard card from the first edition on your shelf. I'd rather have a house. <laughs> yeah, I would take the house. That card ain't gonna ain't doing nothing for me on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Unless you can sell it and buy two houses. <laughs> You're correct, Dick Boots. I said the wrong word. Oh, practicing. Oh, Freak's giving you the... Ah, oh, yeah. Freak, you had a you had an out, man. Boots was I, I like, know, I'm I'd, a dick. I'd agreed. I'd, I'd agreed. I was an asshole. That's all right. Master Splinter. Better be the asshole than the whole ass. Is it? Maybe. I, it might be. It might be. Hard to say. Sometimes I look at our setup here, and it's like the Brady Bunch. I'm like, what's up, Alice? You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Marsha? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> Here's a story of a man named Dick Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Who was living with three women, piss it all. The beater bunch <laughs> is what even Dan says. <laughs> the beater bunch. <laughs> the beater bunch. <laughs> someone uh someone left a comment on one of our videos the other day an old school video um and it said you guys are what would happen if the game grump started 10 years too late <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i thought that was a fantastic comment <laughs> first off fuck off <laughs> <laughs> and second off, you're not wrong. <laughs> and third, fuck off anyway. <laughs> hey man, anytime you compare me to the Game Grumps, I'll be, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote back that we're still waiting for our John Chan reunion, though. <laughs> right. The singer of Relative Ash lived on my corner, and he used to sell weed before they got big. Oh. oh. I'm glad he was contributing to society. Maybe that's how they got their name from from 
firing up the fucking blunts there on the corners and the relative know. ash that they left behind. <laughs> Never got into the game, Grumps. I don't think they suck. Just never got into them. Yeah. I I, I was into them for a while there. Um, yeah, I, I, I think for me it depends on the game they're playing. Like Yeah, that's a big part. I don't go for a lot of the manga stuff that they do. Uh, but some of the some of the games they do is it plays well into their personalities and stuff. It's pretty good. I would choose the Charizard card because I would just sell it on Walmart, on Walmart, for a million dollars. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you could buy two houses for it, I'd take the Charizard card. Shit. I never heard of that Charizard card though. Oh, I've heard there's a couple. But sell for a million? I know there's a couple gigantic Pokemon cards that go for big money, but seemed like it'd be easy to counterfeit. You yeah. Know? And they already have a lot of counterfeits on a lot of the. You know, B level cards. So it's like, how do you trust that it's not a, you know, I don't know. No, I'd, have, I, I'd have a hard time putting that kind of money into something like that. I agree. Slayer asks, How are you guys tonight? I'm assuming you're asking us. <laughs> um, doing well man not doing... too bad not too bad I got I got whiskey in my cup in my sippy cup how are you doing Slayer things are going well ooh got him by the way Slayer thanks for watching and commenting on that latest video that was cool I always find it, it's always nice when, uh, you know, because we do content on here too, besides streams. Yeah. And it's always nice when people check out both. Indeed. <clears throat> Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? It's too tired. Oh, was that, was that uh, a little Nightbot night humor there for you? I mean. Here's a Nightbot joke for you. What did Tennessee? Uh. What? Same thing as Arkansas. Oh, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I kind of like it. I liked it, okay? <laughs> I don't mean to like it, I just did. <laughs> oh, he got me. Well, work is done. Thank you for the mod. Appreciate it. Great White North. You betcha. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, I said I'd get it back to you. And we appreciate you being it. here, popping in here, commenting and such. How you doing tonight, Great White? Are you once bitten, twice shy? Yeah, that didn't. That didn't go. That didn't fly. Do you even know Let's what see. I'm? Slayer says I want to see Mega Dan play that game. I'm not sure if I know. Let's oh, the game. He's talking about the game. I was. Uh, there's a. Like someone made a new Contra type game. Oh right, right, and right. I did a video for it. Yeah, some of these videos Dan B does on his own. I, uh, you know. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll just get a hair up my ass and be like, I'm doing a video on this. And then I'll just do it real quick. <laughs> and I'm not interested in any of the hair that's up Dan's ass, so. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a nice hair, man. It's, you know. I, know. I, I brush it. <laughs> Probably keeps its shape pretty well, you know. It's all greasy and. <laughs> <laughs> it's got natural oils. It's got its own pomade, you know. <laughs> Great White says been working nearly 11 hours straight. Holy crap. Shit. Want to hear a joke? Sure, Skittles. I'll hear a joke. Yeah, let's let's hear it. I know you don't support your friend's boots. <laughs> <laughs> You're on to me, Slayer. You're on to me, Slayer. I'm a complete, total prick. <laughs> <laughs> He's only half right. <laughs> No, that would be being a prick. What am I doing now? I am the knight. I'll have you know, I went and helped a female friend of mine put her bed together. She got moved into a new apartment. Went and helped her put her bed together. 
Asked if she wanted to, you know, get on the bed and see, test it out, make sure it worked proper. She was not into that. <laughs> <laughs> is this a true story? It is a true story, wow. actually. I'm giving you a little glimpse of the Dick Boots life. I, I was curious. I was curious. <laughs> if we're... Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Where am I supposed to be going? Why was the man running on a highway behind a truck? Um, why? I don't know. Oh, that's death. Okay. <clears throat> Boots is that dude who likes to think he's an asshole, but he's really a swell guy. <laughs> he's swole, all right. <laughs> that's true. Us being assholes, is, it's, it's kind of like asshole light. Just because, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty kind dudes. Yeah, I suppose so. All right. So why was the man running on the highway behind a truck? Because it had the perfect milk for his son after his leave. Uh. Can you explain that one to me? Uh, no. Oh. Hmm. You got me, Skittles. I don't know if I get that one. <clears throat> All right, so where do I go? <laughs> I don't know, but jumping into these shrubs ain't doing nothing. <laughs> well, I thought maybe I could climb that that thing there, but wait. Oh, how'd Boba Fett get involved in this? <laughs> what is going on here? You gotta yell out, Booyakasha! Because <laughs> <laughs> some hot lady had milk in her titties, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that makes sense. <laughs> what do I do? Hmm. Oh, this is R1 and L. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. You can climb. Spiffer. Some more Uncharted. Ha! <laughs> hey, this predates <laughs> Uncharted. <laughs> Uncharted, rip this game off. That was... That was Naughty Dog who did that, right? Yeah. Which is another... Which is who made Crash Bandicoot as well. Yeah, yeah. Because you were saying how this looks like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I bet they just took all this. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe Naughty Dog was ex Ubisoft people. I wouldn't be surprised if they just all kind of swap in and out and, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Like different people go to different places? Yeah, like maybe you just do, maybe your contract is just for a single game. Not necessarily for like a year, but just for like how however long it takes the game to be done, and then you move on to something else. Yeah. Who knows? Great White North. I like the movie to this too, but I just don't remember it. I saw it in the theater. I remember being like, "Well, that was all right." Was this the one where they they get washed up onto a beach or something? Like they're they're in a crate or something? No. Um, this is like half the movie is like the turtles are all. They're not working well together as a team. They're all separated, right? Yeah. And it's sort of CGI? It's all CGI. Yeah. What? The, I swear there's a scene where someone gets washed up on a beach or something. That happens in the second Michael Bay movie. They all get washed up on a beach. Mm. Or in the jungle, fighting Bebop from Rocksteady. Mm. They might in this, too. I don't... But this is a weird movie where... It, by the time they get together at the end, like, I can't remember what happens. Some kind of ancient Japanese monster comes out. It's called upon by Karai, who's Shredder's daughter. And I could be remembering the story totally wrong, but it has been since 2007 since I saw it. Yeah, and who remembers anything from 2007? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I asked, did you say Gaming Off the Grid gave you this? 
What, herpes? No. <laughs> no, I got that from something. No. <laughs> I got, from Gaming Off the Grid, I got um, Mega Dan's copy of um, Super Dodgeball for NES. They got it off him in some kind of trade. And, uh, because it had, it was marked with a big D on it. And I'm like, <laughs> why, why didn't some of these say D? And they're like, oh, Mega Dan was selling those before. And we picked them up in a trade. And we just kept his price on there. Yeah, you should have seen them at the at the table marking all the games with their big D's. I mean, there was a big crowd all the way around. I mean, Herpes was going around to everybody. It was a crazy thing. <laughs> The, those game off the grid folks, they got big D's. What can I say? <laughs> I kid, I kid. They're, well, they're from the big D, the, the old Des Moines. They know. are, yeah. <laughs> My truck days are pretty long. I'm off Wednesdays and Thursdays. Got to have two days off to recharge. What What are your days off there? Oh, he's off Wednesdays and Thursdays. He just yeah, he's, he's been off Wednesdays and Thursdays for a while. Um... You want to hear the first part of a joke? Hmm. Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure we've heard either part of a joke yet, Skittles. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Oh, you saw Gaming Off the Grid play this game? That's that's funny. Dude, I looked for... I wish Gaming Off the Grid had this game because I looked for Ninja Turtle games at that convention. Oh, yeah, they were far and few between. I found one. One Ninja Turtle game at the whole convention. And Gaming I mean, Off the Grid did not have... Any. And like I saw a few folks had Turtles 2, but they wanted a fucking stupid amount for it. Oh, yeah, for the NES? And, uh, yeah. I think I might have saw Tournament Fighters once, but they wanted crazy money for that, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Might not be this one, which is it? Oh, this is, um, this is TMNT 2007 from the movie. The 2007 CGI movie. That was kind of a sequel to the Original movies. Oh, what's going on here? I want whoever did uh, the last Joker and the last Batman movie to do a Team and Team movie. That oh. could be that could be glorious. Really harken back to the beginning of the comic book and stuff, you know. I would love to see a Team and Team movie made for adults. Yeah. They should do I a mean, little... the... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go, ahead, go for it. The fan base is getting older. Well, so, yeah. I mean, you think, you would think it couldn't be around the corner too much further. You would think. Yeah, eventually they got to. But it is such a kid franchise now. You know, parents would be like, I took my kid to see that. It was There was blood in it in April. Had sex with Leonardo and, <laughs> and Raphael at the same time. What is up with that? <laughs> it's not she was shell shocked. I don't know what that means, but what? <laughs> Splinter died. <laughs> like Angelo kept saying he was gonna put it in her coat, but I'm the whole lot of what. <laughs> he gave her the booyaka shot. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, give me that coin. I mean, it wouldn't... Yeah, Evil Dan, it wouldn't necessarily even have to be violent, necessarily. I mean, violence is going to be inherent, but... I mean, just... I don't know. Um, just with a darker edge that the comic book intended, you know. <clears throat> well, the comic book, when it came out, it was kind of a... A, um... A satire on all those... You know, all these gritty comics that were coming out, like Punisher and Daredevil and stuff that were... Yeah, yeah Rudin, you're right. Nickelodeon will want to keep it a children-friendly product. Oh. I know they got a lot of money invested in it and such. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's going to be too hard for them to... Oh, come on. <laughs> I want them to make the last Ronin. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's, there's a comic book, The Last Ronin, that's... It's basically like all the turtles but one are passed away, and he's got to figure out how to... 
you know, Shredder's grandson is trying to kill everybody, and it's the last stand. You see what this takes place like twenty years in the future from now, hmm. and you see what happened to everybody and how everyone died and all this. It's a pretty cool story. It's done really well. Violence like the old originals done by the original too. They got back together to do this comic. Oh, you'd like to see when that happens. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because both of them had sworn off doing TMNT comics for a long time, and then they were like, they did some kind of um, retrospective, and they thought, well, let's work together again now hmm. after doing it. Wasn't there some bad blood between them two? For yeah, a while? yeah, there was something about some lawsuits and such about who owned what or whatever. I'm pushing R1. <laughs> Skittles. Goodness. That joke reads out of like a, you know, back in the, well, back when Play, Playboy was still a magazine, they'd have jokes, you know, behind the the the, uh, the pull-out uh, centerfold, right? That sounds like one of those jokes from like 1967 or something. What joke? <laughs> oh, something. Let's see, what is it? Oh, let me. I'll, I'll read it here. There you go. It's important to have a woman <laughs> who has home cooks. These these two women must never meet. Out. It does. It is something right out of <laughs> old Playboy or something. Um. <clears throat> take the original '90s TMNT movie and darken it to an R rating. That would rock. Yeah, that's all you really need to do. That's all you really need to do is darken that up and. Could be good. Because that, that movie was basically the comic beat for beat, but lightened up. Yeah. So They could expand a little more on the, uh, the Foot Clan uh, uh, kind of clubhouse. Because I thought that was kind of one of the best, the best elements of that movie was the Foot Clan uh, hideout. Oh, yeah. That thing was just great. I was like, holy shit, where can I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a Foot Clan member, man. That's funny. <laughs> Booch, you're not supposed to want to be on the bad guys team. Oh. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Booyakasha! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> so Slayer says, Eastman and Lara can take turns sitting in my face. <laughs> Sweet. Well. I'm sure they'd like that. <laughs> Been working 12 hour days here and there, but working six days a week. It's a lot of work, man. I mean, there ain't no point in making money if you ain't got no time to enjoy it. Oh, what the? Eight days a week. Oh, man. <gasps> What's wrong with the Beatles? There's nothing wrong with the Beatles, but that's a fucking lame ass song, man. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool saying, I guess, another Ringoism, but. I mean, of all the songs that went number one for the Beatles, that one's probably the weakest. Well, okay, that's fair. <laughs> Slayer asks, did we play Mutants in Manhattan? I played it, yeah. Some dude at the convention was trying to sell, he had a copy of it, and he's like, this is the best Trolls game ever. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm like, no, I've had this game, I know, it's pretty good. And... He was like, well, it's delisted. I've got it here and only 80 bucks. And I'm like, eh, I've got the digital copies. Like, this is physical. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all right. I got it. He just wouldn't let go, man. He just wanted to sell it so bad. <laughs> what does it mean for it to be delisted? Delisted means that um, you can't buy it on the eShop anymore. Ow. They took it down. So the only way to get it would be, you know, physical. I see, I see. How do I get across here? What? Slayer says I have the Xbox physical version of it. Nice. Yeah, man, that Foot Clan hideout was freaking, that was the shit. Oh. 
Slayer, I'll give you ten bucks for it. <laughs> um, do you have any Dick Boots ex exclusive for us tonight, Dick Boots? Hmm. Never play Leap Frog with a unicorn. Oh wait, that's not Dick Boots exclusive. <laughs> How about <clears throat> I was coming off of this off the cuff. How about a let's see. What was that game we played where we were a we were a, a reporter of some sort? Was that Detroit something? Not hmm. Detroit Become Human, but um, it was a god awful game. It was absolutely horrible. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, you could have a game like that where, it's, but it's April O'Neil, and you have to get the story, and April O'Neil has to get the story. Okay. And I was gonna say kind of like La Noire, but you're like detectives in that, so I don't know if that. But you could it could be some something similar to that, right? Where you're an investigative reporter, you're April O'Neil, and you know you could even have the turtles being like you know saving shit in New York, and April has to go get the story kind of thing. I like it. That could be interesting. There's your off the cuff Dick Boots exclusive. Wow, Dick Boots exclusive. <laughs> Superman for the Ness. You play as reporter Clark Kent in that. Hey, Sod. What's up, Sod? How you doing, buddy? That is true. You do play as reporter Clark Kent, but you're not really doing much reporting. <laughs> LO on the show is April getting undressed at home, too. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, my. That's more of the NC-17 uh, rated uh, <laughs> one. That... I think they've already, haven't they, uh, haven't they already done a Turtles-themed porn? I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah. And the uh, porn star in it, her name's April O'Neil. That's her stage name? That's her stage name. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was going to say, what a weird brag would that be? To be the, <laughs> to be the woman that was in that movie. It's like, I took all four turtles. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's called Ten Inch Mutant Ninja Turtles, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> all four turtles waxed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a cool move. I don't know why they had to make the cum turn green. <laughs> Adding some food color to cum. Ew. <laughs> what, a, what a weird back set that would be. <laughs> it's ooze. It's, it's secret of the ooze, baby. <laughs> I think he means heavy rain. It's similar to Detroit. I don't know if it was heavy rain. I've never played that, but I want to. I've heard uh, good things. It wasn't things. heavy rain. It was, um... God dang it. Who was it that was telling me? It was a horrendous game. I think Game Grumps even played it. Hmm. Was it like 3D game or was it like um, what type of gameplay was it? It was like third person. You could see your character on the screen. But it wasn't like a, you know, where they're just reading, like a dating sim or something. No, no, no. It was uh, you had to go move around and and get objects and and interact with things and. There was some weird creature that was, you know, hunting us and stuff. And okay. we were we were a reporter. Some female reporter, I think. Hmm. Evil Dan, do you remember that game? Oh, I know what you're talking about. It was god-awful. Yes, we played it for Halloween because it was like a zombie... It ended up being like some kind of zombie game, but it only came out in the UK and it kept slowing down because it was on PAL, 50 hertz instead yes. of 60. And so you'd be you'd be like talking and the guy would be like and then... Like the frame rate would super slow yeah. down. Yeah. I want to say it was a few years ago. It was. We probably played that in 2018. I want to say there was like a like a colon in the name. It was something something colon something. Yeah, it's on the channel. I just don't know what it would be. Yeah. Any hoozle. 
Freak of Four is happy that he got his dick boots exclusive. I'm here for you, Freak. <laughs> Um, catching up on the on the chat here. Is that the glitch game? No, it wasn't the. But it was around that time. Dude. It was around that time. The glitch game was Dreamcast. This was a PS a PS2 game actually. Yeah, here I'm saying like we don't play in a PS2, but that maybe was. it was like the name of somebody and then colon something reporter or something. Yeah, that seems. Like it could be right. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Vampire Knight. Was that it? No, that was not it. Oh. Uh oh. Who's this Casey Jones wannabe? Oof. <laughs> Man, that is a lot of reach with the with the <laughs> with yeah. the, the boost tap. Gotta Damn. like that. <laughs> Take this from my stick. <laughs> you will eat my stick and like it. <laughs> Oof. My stick, your face. <laughs> the two go together. <laughs> my stick is bigger than yours. I like slapping my stick on a face. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cheek just has that nice hollowed out sound, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, they open the mouth, close the mouth a little bit, and, you know, make a little, you know, little tune there for you. Like a... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> Uh, colon reporter. You sure it wasn't a porn game? No, no. <laughs> I can see where it has been. A lot cooler if it was. <laughs> Ooh. You like where Sod's head's at? So he, his head's up your ass, pretty much. <laughs> well, well, hell no. I was talking about colons, you know. I mean, shit. Well, I just like what I like what he's thinking. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> when Donatello sticks it to the man, he sticks it to the man. <laughs> Stick it, Donnie. Oh, what are you doing, Donnie? That is subpar water, even for PS2. Dude, back in the day, they were, like, so proud of that water. And here you are just shitting on it. I know. That water does not make me moist. <laughs> <laughs> moist Muffin. That's a good band name right there. Ew. <laughs> not sure it is. <laughs> oh, man. And now you're rocking out to Moist Muffin. Not, I'm one of those people that's like, I'm not a fan of the word moist. <laughs> moist is a weird word. It's like, is it one two, one or two syllables? Moist. Noise. <laughs> it's, it's the same kind of... It's one of those words. I don't know if there's a term for that. Whereas the word's like, it almost seems like it'd be two syllables. Right. But it's technically not. Yeah, I guess it's just one, but... <laughs> Boots taking a deuce in the water. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're going to be where instantly you, clean. I mean, where else are you going to take a deuce? When I go in the toilet. I mean, you just don't do it in the lakes around Iowa, man. You get that brain eating amoeba. <laughs> I mean, and my brain's, my ass is where my brain is, so, I mean, I'd be screwed. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> I mean, Sod says it's sewer water. It's supposed to have shit in it. <laughs> See? Oh, what the? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shell shock. So if someone says the chicken is very moist, does it make you feel weird, DB? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he wants his chicken dry and choked. <laughs> I don't mind a moist chicken. I don't even mind a, a moist v v jazz, but... Uh... <laughs> I prefer one myself, but... Well, what I'm saying is it's just a weird... It's a weird word for your buddy to come say to you, like, hey man, I'm feeling a little moist today. And you're like, well... I'm just saying, if it's dry, you get blisters on your fingers, that's no good. <laughs> hey, more Ringo references. <laughs> Three moist muffins, there you go for a band name. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> then how do you say it's voice? I guess juicy? You don't say the chicken is wet. <laughs> That's true. Well, no, no. Hey, Brad, this chicken is wet. <laughs> I just say... <laughs> this chicken's on angel dust. I say this chicken is tender. Oh. You say, you say, succulent. Mmm, it's succulent. That's a succulent chicken. <laughs> That's one fine succulent chicken. <laughs> Saad asks, have you heard the remix of William Shatner talking about a moister, tastier turkey? I, have not. I would like to. Hey, chum. What's Appreciate up, chum? You popping up in here. Soggy croutons opening for the moist muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got it open for a moist muffin. You think the moist muffins would be open in for somebody, but <laughs> they open for everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how they got moist. Seven soggy croutons. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like sounds like a song title, really. I mean, about a horrible salad experience, you know. <laughs> you, you toss that one too many times. And... <laughs> Toss that salad one too many times. <laughs> now we got seven soggy croutons on our mind. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Turtle's gonna drown. Oh. Apparently, Turtle can't swim. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's lame. <laughs> what? Oh, but it's acid or some shit, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Slayer says now now all those words mean good pussy. I mean yeah, that, that wet pussy, that moist pussy, that wet pussy, that tender pussy. I'm all for those. I agree. I agree, Slayer. <clears throat> what word now? What what ho? Oh. <laughs> what ho? Oh? What am I missing? <laughs> You're missing that moist pussy, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Come on, get up there! Get up there! All right, he made it. Woo, woo, doggies. Complete. Your mission is complete. Mm. Mm. Uh. Go buy our shit, says Nightbot. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Buy that shit. I think we got some some stuff in the works, right? Some merch stuff. Oh yeah, we got tons. Of we got we got some merch stuff. We are where to get to the making the making the merch. <laughs> <laughs> Soggy pussy. I'm still in, but it could get weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> Just line your bed with sponges. It'll be fine. <laughs> If you were in a room with rising sewer water, you'd run from it, whether you could swim or not. I'm that okay, Sad, I'll give you that. Turtle, no turtle wants to be in shitty water. <laughs> and you might just give up and die if you're in it. You're like, oh, fuck it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shitty water. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, small turtle. <laughs> uh oh, what is all this? What's going on here? It's the storyline, dude. <laughs> it's a story. Of a lonely turtle. He's wearing a turtle Who's mask. He's looking for two turtles of his own. He's wearing a, a turtle mask so no one recognizes him as a turtle. It's an ingenious disguise. Oh, goodness. What is this? This is what Mikey has done with his life. This is big head Mikey and the turtles. Kuh. Oh. What was that, man? Big head tall the monsters? Yeah. That's what that was. Okay. Yep. There you go, 90s band reference there for you folks. <laughs> Are you still using the same shirt company from a few years back? No, we're, we've got a different one, but we've got, uh, I think I've got the same shirts that we did before. You, you've, they've got a huge selection of types of shirts, and I, I go for the soft, the soft ones. Mm. They're a little more pricey, but I think it's worth it, because nobody likes the, a big, scratchy, stiff shirt. I mean, you might if you're wanting to dress up or something, but nobody wants. If you're, a, if you're a masochistic bastard, I guess. Nobody wants a scratchy T-shirt. 
I tend to like the soft ones too. They they hold up better to being uh, laundered. Yeah, often, you know, and they feel more comfortable. They're just, just like, why would you get a scratchy one? Right on. Uh, Slayer says, "I love the shirts I bought. Uh, if you bought some Game Beater shirts, then we thank you. If you're talking about the shirts you bought for your own shit, then fuck you." No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> He's just being dick boots. I know. <laughs> you want a Jank Squad shirt, Evil Dan? I got one. <laughs> it's only got one sleeve. <laughs> it's a little jank, but... <laughs> no! This game, they should just call it Teenage Mutant Parkour Turtles. <laughs> Yeah, this game's kind of weak. It's alright, but... Get up! What are you doing? <laughs> F you, Nightbot. Chuck Norris once went skydiving, but promised never to do it again. One Grand Canyon is enough. Look, everybody loves a good Chuck Norris joke. My favorite Chuck Norris joke is that he once went to the Virgin Islands. Now they're just called the Islands. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Sod says, not to be mistaken with the Jank Squid shirt. <laughs> Jank Squid. Slayer says, yes, I want soft in case I want to fuck them. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, I, I respect. Respect. <laughs> respect. <laughs> oh, come on, Mikey. I know, whiskey's hitting a little different. In a good way? In a good way. In a good way. I hope so. Slayer says, no, I bought the Game Beaters Battletoads and Rick and Morty Jerk. Jerk? <laughs> I'm gonna oh. go fuck them now, because you're a dick. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you gotta hate fuck your shirts, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you gotta show those shirts who's boss. I don't know. <laughs> Give him the dirty shirty. <laughs> I mean, they got four holes, right? <laughs> One of them's got to be big enough for you, dude. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. That's a big dick joke, I think. Mm. Chum he's... says, this is made off of the Prince of Persia game engine. Is it? Okay. Seems like it might be. I, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I feel that now. Now that you say that. And Ubisoft made the Prince of Persia game, so makes sense. Yeah, there you go. Boy, that new uh, that new Unreal Engine is going to be insane. Dude, have you played? Uh, have you tried the Matrix on your PS Five yet? I have not. It's there's a free Matrix download that you can get, and it's basically a tech demo, but um, it's in R Unreal Engine Five hmm. or whatever. Uh -huh. It's free. Try it. It's it's huh. a it's a twenty minute game experience, but it is like you're playing. You can't tell where real begins and ends. Wild. It's it's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Saad asks, "Have you seen the video of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris getting ready to fight?" But the music is the intro of Careless Whispers. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe I have. Ah, uh, I said I've seen a couple of those type of mashups, and they they crack me up. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That sounds very sad. Sad. That sounds like something sad would w would make almost. <laughs> Boy, that is a finely tuned pop song. I tell you what. Careless Whisper. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here? Hey, what up, Joe Finn? Hey, Joe Finn. Whatever Slayer asks, whatever happened to the Prince of Persia remake? Oh man! No one knows. No one knows. I don't know. Will they remake says, it? Says I had a PS2. I either never played this game or forgot and never made it this far. It is kind of forgettable. <laughs> How do I? Saad says I think about Unreal Engine 5 and get excited, but then I remember my PC was a potato when I bought it in 2016. <laughs> I gotta hear right. what they're saying. Great White Ho North is home and time to chill. 
I'll raise my cup of whiskey to that. My sippy cup of whiskey. Oh, we got some voice acting? Yeah. I thought maybe they were telling us how to pass it. Oh. Telling you how to fuck this pig. Yeah. Pig fucker. That's a letter Kenny reference. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's the plague? Oh, it's a parade. I thought, I said it's, I thought he said it was the plague. <laughs> oh, so they're just talking about comic books. Oh, there you go. That might be the play if you go on the other side. On that brick wall there. Not that one, the other one. Well, I was trying to do the other one too, but it wouldn't... I won't let you do on that one. See, it just... Mm. And you can't jump up on that water tower thing. It's behind you. Nope. Yeah. Mm. Can you... Maybe there's a wall... Like, yeah, there. And then to the right... <laughs> if there is, I can't. Ah! <laughs> hmm. There's no double jump or anything like that. There's a double jump, but it doesn't go that far. <laughs> you sure do got a pretty pig. <laughs> <laughs> chug it, chug it. No, no, no. This has got to last me the rest of this. This is portion control for me. You know, I don't want to get so hammered I can't drive home. Hmm. This has got to last me the evening, you know. Until I get home, anyway. Do you ever just want to put your mouth on a Chuck's bee hole after she ate White Castles? I don't know. They had all kinds of White Castle sliders at that uh, after party you went to, Dan B. Did, did you get your mouth on any uh, Chick's Bee Holes? Or... Nope, no, I didn't. Oh, no Chick's Bee Holes or White Castle sliders. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do their fries only come in one size? Who, White Castle? I, I don't know. That's a, that's a Beastie Boys reference. Oh. White oh. Castle fries only come in one size. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Slayer, I will never smoke with you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, a chick's bee hole might taste better than White Castle. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean, I've done it once or twice. I'm not a fan, but. And I don't mean White Castles. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a fan of White Castle? I've done that once or twice. I'm not a fan of those either. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Joe Finn asks, have you guys played that new Team of T Shredder's Revenge yet? Oh, oh yeah. I think it's a freaking new modern classic. Yeah, I love it. <clears throat> it is fantastic. Well, maybe I gotta go back this way. Nope, can't nope. go back. Well, shit. Can't go up. <laughs> Chum says, I'm intercontinental when I eat French toast. <laughs> <laughs> DB, if you weren't allowed to eat a slider, you could have enjoyed it through her beehole. <laughs> well, that's... Mmm... I mean, maybe maybe a White Castle slider is one of the few foods that comes out the same as it goes in. You know, you don't know. Could be, could be. It's those onions, you know, those onions. Oh hey! Oh, well look at this! Look at this! You nunchucking son of a bitch! Wait a <laughs> second. Ah, oh, Sod says Sod's on it. According to the game facts, use the nunchuck helicopter to reach the pig. I didn't know that such thing existed until I just started pushing buttons. <laughs> Appreciate you though, Sod. Yeah, thank you, Sod. I yeah, because I <laughs> may not have never have found that. Either. That's right. That's right. Stuff like that's very helpful. 
Indeed. I just happened to figure it out the minute he looked it up. That's like Murphy's Law. Yeah. You figure stuff out right as somebody tells you. <laughs> some Beastie Boys lyrics. You didn't think you'd get some Beastie Boys lyrics in here, did you, Chum? <laughs> oh. Slayer says, yeah, I'm not a fan of White Castle sliders. I usually get mozzarella sticks and onion rings. Those are awesome and crispy. Oof. Yeah, I'm not the, the biggest fan of White Castle myself. What's wrong with White Castle? I'm not, I don't like it either. I used to call it White Asshole because it tastes like... It's not. That is the lowest common denominator in food quality. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. Like, There's probably like 30-something people at that party and they order 100 sliders and everybody's like, I'm going to eat at least 10. And then by like everybody's fourth, they're like, it's so disgusting. You know, they can't, they're just like, can't get them down. There's like 40 left over by the end of the night. You don't think you've ever eaten White Castle Root? I mean, it's something you should do at least once, you know. I mean, I don't know. Just throw caution in the wind and... <laughs> Be, and have some TP on hand. That's right, that's right, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe not a meal you want to have before being intimate with the wife, you know. <laughs> but... Huh. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see, uh, game facts are awesome, that's right, yes, yes, vegan buttholes are better. Hmm. Alright. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Saad says, by the way, you know why they're called nunchucks, because no one wanted to be nun Norrist. Ha 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 Uh, Tom says, I want to try White Castle, none around here. Where is the closest White Castle? For us, probably Chicago. We don't. There's not one in CR. No, they don't have one in CR. I don't think. Maybe. Do they have one in Quad Cities? Maybe they have one in Quad Cities. Maybe. Hmm. Don't quote me on that, though. Seems like I've seen one recently. Maybe but... they have one in Des Moines. Of course, Evil Dan says, I love White Castle, you know, the bashing of fast food. There <laughs> <laughs> ain't a fast food Evil Dan won't like. <laughs> Evil Dan says, none in Iowa that he knows of. Okay. Evil Dan, what is one fast food restaurant you don't like? I'm surprised you haven't seen one, Rudin, with all the with all the jet setting you've been doing. I thought, you know, you've been in Nashville recently. I bet they've, they've got one in Nashville somewhere. Um... Oh, I guess the one I saw recently was where we just were <laughs> in Missouri. That oh, yeah, sense. St. Louis. Well, that one was closed. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, though. When, like, a White Castle closes, what are you going to do with the white, the old White Castle shell of a building? <laughs> you know? I mean, you're, you're not going to start a attorney, attorney firm or fucking, uh, what, tax TPA firm or some shit out of an old White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Rune says, I felt like I saw hundreds of Crackle Barrels driving to Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see a lot of Crackle Barrels. Probably a lot of wa Waffle Houses. Uh, although that's more south from Tennessee, but I think they still got a pretty good presence in Tennessee. I love me some Waffle House, though. Fucking Waffle House is a, it's a perfect slice of humanity there in the Waffle House. You'll see all parts of it. <laughs> of the Waffle House? Oh, yeah. Just the people that are in there working, the people go in there to eat. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't advise going in there, you know, after bars close and stuff. <laughs> that huh. becomes a pretty insane scene, but... Going there during the day? Hell yeah, I can get on board with some Waffle House during the day. Sure. Breakfast is good anytime. So it says I've eaten White Castle though I don't remember it definitely wasn't anything memorable that's right I mean White Castle is not like I mean you're not going to go home and be like oh my god this was the best fast food meal I've ever had yeah never will that happen I try to guarantee you that <clears throat> none in QC Able Dan ah, fair enough so it says you know I've been spoiled by homemade fast food mm. homemade fast food how do you do that I'm not entirely sure Slayer says, it doesn't make me poop, but it's uh, it knows to do that to people. <laughs> oh, 
Come on. A lot of people do love White Castles. Freak Four says I could probably say I have not ever eaten at a White Castle, nor ever had a White Castle slider. Freak Four, how have you lived this long, man? No. No. Freak Four says, "Oh wait, well, I already said what Freak Four says." Uh, slider says, "I like Arby's, and I don't know why." <laughs> <laughs> I love that beef and cheddar with the Arby sauce. You know, that Arby sauce is uh, pretty unique. I don't know if there's anything quite like it out there, you know. I don't mind the Arby's a little bit. Um, I like the, from two to two to five or whatever it is, they do the, the their version of the sliders for like a dollar each. Not a bad deal. The buffalo chicken slider's pretty good. My son loves their mac and cheese. I don't know if I'm into their mac and cheese so much. I mean, three dollars for for basically the the same size as like the cheesy fiesta potatoes at Taco Bell seems like a big ask to me. Careful what you say, dude. Some somebody from that restaurant, their family. Oh, is gonna I be... know, man. The, the great great grand uncle of fucking Taco Bell is gonna get a hold of me and be like. <laughs> Cheesy fiesta potatoes should have never been on the Taco Bell menu. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take a cheesy fiesta potato over the Arby's mac and cheese any day of the week. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see, where uh, are we? Uh, Chum Nasser says chiropractor office. Okay. What's uh, up, my high game hunters? Hey, buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Evil Dan says, uh, that's a good question, B. I'm not sure what the question was. That's all right. Oh, was what's, what's, what, is there any restaurant he doesn't like? Oh. <laughs> Saad says, I used to make burgers, french fries, and fried chicken at home. Oh, right on, right on. You know, old Colonel Sanders did not like that extra crispy chicken. <laughs> no, he did not. He did not like the extra crispy. We found that out. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, did we? Woo. <laughs> Let's just say we got lit up. We <laughs> sure did. We sure did. <laughs> He's probably he probably wouldn't like his chicken being called moist either. Would be my guess, but I don't know. Honestly, I sent him a message and I said, "Hey, thanks for the education. I appreciate it." Because I learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. My high game hunters, cow bongo, my dude. Same back to you, booyaka shaw, We appreciate you. My hi, I saw you guys had a new video out with, with uh, Wes. What? That's cool. Really? Nice. Yeah. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to have to check that out. I will say the Arby's uh, hamburger does not look all that great. I've heard not good reviews on that thing. Arby's has a hamburger? Yeah, they got a, they got this like supposedly Wagyu beef burger. Wagyu? Yeah, Wagyu is like a... It's like a Japanese kind of aged beef. Okay. Anyway, um, it has not been getting very good reviews. Wagyu. You know Arby's and Buffalo Wild Wings are owned by the same company? Yeah, I heard something about that. It's pretty wild. <laughs> uh, let's see. Saad says, dude, that is still unreal. Oh, the, uh, the Colonel Sanders. Yeah, he was like, that was so surreal. And yeah, cool. that, that was nuts. That was absolutely nuts. Evil Dan says, uh, nearest White Castle is Kankakee. Huh. Kankakee. That's in Illinois, right? Yeah, I think so. You gotta think that the Colonel Sanders nephew guy who responded to us, was he, he had to have just been looking for new KFC videos. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's probably he's probably at home just like surfing, surfing, surfing. Come on, so someone say some shit. Someone say some shit. Someone say some shit. <laughs> and it was probably like weeks since somebody said some shit. And then finally, our video pops up, and he, he gets this big old chicken boner, and he's like, "Oh, here we go! Time to break out the suit. Time to break out the bolo tie. Time to set up straight." <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Maybe it's not that, but it was cool. No. It was awesome to get a response from him. I actually know? looked into him a little bit. He's like a big <clears throat> philanthropist and wants to help people oh, cool, and stuff. Cool, cool. 
Man, I still think the John Goodman, the John Goodman version of Colonel Sanders. I don't give a shit. That thing was fucking genius. <laughs> I don't oh, know if I saw. Oh that. my god! Do yourself a favor and see, check that out. It was like an extended long commercial thing. Oh, that, that was a long time ago, oh, like 2012 yeah, or something. Yeah, it was a while ago. Uh, yeah. But it was fucking great. It was fucking great. <clears throat> KFC dude and boots in a hardcore match. <laughs> oh man. Be throwing chicken bones at him. Playing, <laughs> playing. The, the game beaters is the number one video search result for <laughs> for Colonel Sanders' great grand nephew. That's right. It's part of our bid to take over the world, baby. <laughs> this is just step one. <laughs> See, he could have his video that he made could have more, but he doesn't know SEO like we do, man. He, he doesn't know how to optimize them search engines. <laughs> Oh, Mile High still says, I still like to think I'm the evil dad. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> well, there can be two. Maybe we need another hardcore match, you know. <laughs> Maybe a little intercontinental match on the car on the side card. <laughs> I like the Norm McDonald version. Yeah, the Norm the Norm the Norm commercial was pretty good. Oh, Norm did a version? Yeah, Norm Norm did one. That'd be good. Yeah. Didn't Reba McIntyre do one? Yes, <laughs> Reba McIntyre did one. Uh, what about the Mario Lopez version? Oh, oh the Mario Lopez oh. version. I'm sure the Colonel was not cool with that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, the not so good. <laughs> you were agreeing with Sanders, and the kid kept complaining. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. The Game Beaters video is the number one result in Google search. For, <laughs> they put that on a t-shirt, man. <laughs> we need to put that on a t-shirt. Scratch and sniff make it smell like chicken, you know? <laughs> 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 uh, Dick Boots, what was your claim to fame in the Game Beaters after you, <laughs> How did you hit 10 million subs? Well, it all started with Colonel Sanders' nephew. <laughs> Great grand nephew. Who knew he didn't like extra crispy? <laughs> <laughs> he thought it tasted, he thought it was just a big ball of dough. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Well, it's near Chicago. Oh, bizarre, bro. I'm the real Evil Dan. Oh, prove it, Evil Dan. Let's see that hammer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Every time I see someone say ED, I think erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Which is funny, because that's the same thing I think when I see Evil Dan. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. He says he kid. <laughs> I'm an asshole. He adults too. <laughs> only fan, only Dan's, only Dan's, the only Dan's channel. <laughs> oh boy, DB. <laughs> Dan Dan Revolution. <laughs> they sh um, one of the guys. I think it was. Retro Mikey streamed. So, so somebody brought a Dance Dance Revolution Super Mario giant box set thing to okay. this thing, and they said, "We're gonna play Dance Dance Revolution. Whoever wins gets to keep this." Mm. And they streamed it. I had no idea they were streaming, <laughs> and I'm like walking around in front of the camera and doing stuff. <laughs> and I'm sitting like they asked me to sign. A a paper and I'm like, oh, let me find somewhere to sit. I sit right in front of the camera and I'm signing <laughs> this stuff. What was this? This was at the the Mo Game oh. Con at the after. <laughs> nice. Uh, man, that's funny. Yeah. Looks like advertising is finally going. That to is funny. Whoa, he's gonna drink that shit. Do it. Chug it. All right, then don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying, my high. It is evil. I mean, fuck Cardinal fan. Give me a fucking break. 
The adults, too? He can adult all over my face later tonight. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh Yakusha! Splat. Damn, B, I agree with you on seeing the abbreviation ED. See, dude? I guess I just read a lot about erectile dysfunction for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know why I would read about that. I've never had a problem or nothing. I swear. Come on, Mikey. I once bought some Viagra from India. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll be like, was it one of these like like websites and shit? Oh, Did it work? Funny. Um, you know what? I got like... 10, 10 tablets and it worked twice and did not work three times. Oh. And then I think I still got like five more of them. That was like five years ago, so they're probably no good anymore, but. <laughs> uh, I've tried it once or twice. Not because I had an issue, but because I heard, oh, it makes you. It makes it feel different or whatever. And yeah, it allows you to be all you can be and not have to think about it. I mean, if you're, in open, if you're on opening day with somebody, you know. Sure. Not a bad thing. <clears throat> How did you realize it was being streamed? Well, because after somebody won the contest, they were like talking to the camera, and I was like, oh shit, this whole time the contest was going on, it was streamed. So then I looked it up and watched myself go, you know. <laughs> I was like, do I get in front of the camera? And I watched it, and yeah, I'm there walking around, acting the fool. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Saturday night for Dan B. Acting a fool. Yeah, just part of the norm. <laughs> ED, every time I see that, it reminds me of erectile dysfunction. Speaking of ED, tonight's sponsor is Blue Chew. <laughs> is your wiener useless like our friend Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that? Oh, goodness. That's hilarious. <laughs> nice one, Slayer. <laughs> Picking um, your nose. Uh, agree with homeboy shit. Disrespectful. What you talking about? Yeah, picking my nose. I, I wasn't picking my nose, at least. <laughs> I went to McDonald's in India once. Their veggie burger is a lie. Uh-oh. I was expecting plant-based meat alternative. It turned out to be curry vegetable peaches, pieces in the shape of a patty. That doesn't sound... Mm -hmm. well, I mean, I guess curry vegetables is... Still veggies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess it, it just depends on what your definition of veggie burger is. I mean, <laughs> but it's probably not the one that you get here in the states. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the Impossible Whopper's not half bad. Offering crack to everyone. No, there was enough people playing DDR showing their crack oh. that I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Yeah, your boy, your boy Boots, he fucking crashed out at the hotel, man. I was fucking wiped. Yeah, everyone was like, where's Boots? Oh, he crashed out at the hotel. What an old man! <laughs> but then I'm leaving at like 10. Everybody's like just getting started. That was a big old sausage party anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there was three women there and they were all people's wives. All looking pretty bored. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine if you were in their shoes? Oh. <laughs> Who's throwing lemons? <laughs> yeah, you bite into a burger and you got like pieces of cauliflower potatoes in your mouth. <laughs> 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 that's weird. Okay, I, I can see where that's weird. Why are we still on this weird comical like big head... Yeah, I, version of the things. Mikey level seems to be long, but that's because I keep dying. <laughs> totally awesome. So, is there ever a point where all the turtles are together, or is this just not in PlayStation Two, man? Huh. PlayStation 2 is the home of shitty turtles and shitty water. No, you take that back, dick boots! <laughs> Never! <laughs> Debbie Nova! Uh, okay. <laughs> you take that back, you take back everything bad you said about Boo Yakusha! <laughs> I'm gonna give you a big hug because 
Oh boy. <laughs> Hello, shot, <laughs> Fuck off, boots. Fuck off, damn. Hmm. <laughs> what happened there? I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh! Damn. This wind is blowing hard. That is some I'm shitty water. Trouble. It's not supposed to be water. I mean, it's, elec on. it's electric water. Ow. <laughs> Did you ever see dirty work? <laughs> That alien looks like a hot guy. Let's have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> Slayer's hard up, man. Shit. <laughs> we may need to have a GoFundMe page to get get old Slayer a prostitute or something. <laughs> I think he's okay, man. He's. Uh. What the? Splat. I was fi I was there. Dirty work. That, that was a Norm McDonald movie, right? I think so. Well, I want to say I've seen it, but fuck, it's probably been since the 90s. I forget <laughs> who was in it with him. Some other famous SNL. I'm having trouble getting through all this wind. Dirty work. That wasn't, uh, was that like Charlie Sheen where they're like trash collectors? Yeah. Maybe Emilio Estevez in there some ways? Some... Maybe. And Norm Macdonald was just like a side bit character. Yeah. Bob Saget directed Dirty Work. Did not know that, Rudy. Oh, right, right. Interesting. I wonder what ever happened with Saget. I know... He died. Well, yeah, but like, there was some weird, <laughs> mysterious circumstances. And... Yeah, he hit his head, right? And, and died from hematoma. Yeah, but like, they, they like were showing the hotel room and they were like... There was nowhere in the hotel room that, like, the walls were padded, the bed was padded. They couldn't find, like, where he actually would hit his head that would cause that. Hmm. I wonder if he slipped on some stairs, getting and, up to the room. And then just, like, came back and laid down? Yeah. And didn't know, and then... Dirty work is Norman Artie Lang. Chris Farley oh. was the side character. Okay. Okay. Okay, Artie Lang and his buddy. Oh, a minute work. That's the trash collecting one. Oh. Okay. That's easy to confuse. Fair I can enough. see where you Fair can... enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Appreciate you, chum. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. In diddly doodly. <laughs> In diddly doodly. <laughs> minute dirty work. <laughs> <laughs> That's the porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got an elevator scene in a beat em up. Can you believe that? You know, it's been a while since we've had an elevator scene. Huh. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm surprised we haven't seen any bats. How come ever. No, there's no porn with elevator scenes. They should incorporate more. Um. There's some Japanese porn. <laughs> with elevator scenes? Yeah, where like the girl gets stuck in the door and then there's like two guys that's already in the elevator and they, you know, have their way and and then somebody some some guy saunters up like, Oh, there's a lady just stuck here in the elevator. Let me just take my dick out. And, oh, oh, oh. Except they they don't take their dick out, they pull out a big blob of uh um, well, pixelated, pixelated pixelated cock, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's on the, the you know, the you know, you could get some some Unedited such. Oh, okay. That exists. That exists. On the old Japanese black market. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not, you can't go through the normal... Uh, Not the stuff you get in the vending machines. <laughs> Help, Step Bro. Oh, Step, step Bro San. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> step Bro San, I am stuck. <laughs> I love the Die Hard arcade game for some reason. There's an elevator part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Old Evil Dan fucking beat that one at the old Galloping Ghost. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dying from burst appendix. What? Mm. That's a that's a crappy way to go. That's how Houdini died. His appendix broke and or his gallbladder, I can't remember one or the other. Was it while he was in a He was he was doing a show and they decided to just keep doing the show and by the time they were able to get him to the hospital he'd already gotten septic and Died. Dang. That sucks. Yeah. 
Casa Bonita still has a die-hard arcade machine. Is that a Mexican restaurant? Casa Bonita? That's Cartman's favorite Mexican restaurant. Mm. <laughs> Yay, we're going to Casa Bonita! Okay, no, I can't do my Cartman. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Respect my quesadilla! <laughs> Screw you guys! Go to Benita! I'm gonna get a burrito! I beat, I beat it at Galloping Ghost too. Dude, you you go beat it at Galloping Ghost? That's gross, man. Oh, man, sure. <laughs> Finally, through this level. We're almost to Q and A now. <laughs> well, somebody's got to do something back in that section of uh, what side-scroll shooter games that no one ever plays. <laughs> 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 hey, man! No shame in this kink. What he chooses to do with his joystick is up to him. You know. <laughs> That's why they're all sticky. You guys touch my dead children. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> dead children now. <laughs> oh shiz, Leo's back. Oh look out! That was this is our straight out of the movie. Hmm. Great, we're gonna get copyright strike for <laughs> for playing this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying turtle fans would be disappointed in this game? I'm actually having kind of fun with it. Oh, okay. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week we'll play a different Turtles game and we'll see which thing. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think we may need to play this Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes. You know? i got to figure out how to hook up an Atari to a modern TV. I'm still trying to figure it oh, out. Oh, man. First world problems. <laughs> <laughs> I, the best way I can think of is get a buy a VCR <laughs> and hook it up to the VCR, and then have outputs from the VCR going to the retro tank and then to the. Hmm. Don't they make a converter box? I've looked. I cannot find a converter box anywhere that does RF to. Uh, oh fuck! I want to say I had one a while, a long time ago. Hmm. Maybe I need to look. Maybe say maybe I still have that thing. That'd be cool. Hey, William. What's up, William? Appreciate you popping in here saying hello. But I needed to at least go to composite. Mm. Yeah, mine, mine did go to composite. Uh, RF to composite? Yeah, I want to say there was like, it was like six different ones and uh, one of them was RF. <clears throat> and then it had like a, like a HDMI one and it had like a, Oh wow, it's got a lot of yeah, a lot of options. That'd be cool if you can find it. I don't know if I still have it or not. But otherwise, I might have to go buy a cheap. You might have to go VCR. get a VCR. Fuck, I don't. They don't even, don't even make those in stores anymore. I'm gonna have to go to a Goodwill or some shit. Yeah. Silly Willy. The fire is better than the water. Fire! Bad! VCR, vagina crust ripening. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's what I use it for. What's well, DVD? Dick very dry? <laughs> <laughs> Just hit up one of them CD pawn shops. You can get a good VCR for 20 bucks. Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can even talk them down sometimes. You know what's getting tricky to find these days is uh, the, the VCR DVD combo. Oh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, I've been looking on Marketplace for the past day, but that's not helping. <laughs> You've been hardcore into it. You've been looking at it for the past day. Well, I've only had it since <laughs> Sunday, dude. I haven't had this thing very long. 
He's been looking at it for minutes and minutes and minutes. <laughs> <laughs> William says, look like I earned an achievement. Be well known to Dan and the group of the Game Beaters, and that's obvious. My Facebook is easily accessible. There you go. There you go. Ha-ho! Hey, man, William, someday maybe you will be the number one Google search when someone searches for Colonel Sanders' <laughs> great uncle, great cousin, whatever the fuck it is. Nephew. <laughs> great <laughs> great, great, great grand nephew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get a VCR now. Yes. They're going up. They are going up and up. I still got a box of VCR cassettes. That's something I want to do. Is If I get a VCR, I want to do a couple tape transfers of... I've got a pretty crazy porn that uh, you'd, be, you'd be interested in seeing, probably. <laughs> Well, I don't it's know like, if I'm doing poor transfers, I, but yeah. I think I've talked about I think I've talked about this on the channel before. It was like a there's a weird like breakfast food thing where like a guy's dressed up in a big cream of wheat box. What? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not kidding. The guy is dressed up in a big cream of wheat box and the lady is like dressed up like an egg or something. Alright. Oh, it's it's fucking weird, man. It's fucking weird. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, William says, thanks for the humor. You are welcome. Uh, Saad says, oh god, imagine if VHS tapes start going the way of retro games. Oh no. Oh, Actually, yeah, some VHS tapes are worth a lot of money. Supposedly some old Disney stuff is yeah, high dollar. That's what I saw too. I don't know of anybody who's actually paying high dollar for these Disney tapes. I, I <laughs> saw something recently where people were talking about it's one of the most nostalgic things they can do is pop a v VHS in and watch... Star Wars on VHS because the way the lines are and the way oh, like good God, now I can get on board with Star Wars on original Laserdisc. That would be kind of cool. I can get on board with that. But watching on VHS, that fuck, come on. I've just watched it too many times. That's that's not doing nothing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I could see maybe you watch it a hundred times <clears throat> in your childhood or something like that on VHS. But yeah, I it's not my thing. That's for sure. You know what's hard to find is porn on beta. Find you some some actual uh, produced and released porn on beta. That is rare. Oh yeah. That is rare stuff. I remember, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, Sony wanted nothing to do with that. That's how VHS won. That's how VHS won that battle is because the porn industry was like, yeah, we need something, and Philips was all like, fuck yeah, put it on VHS, we'll do it. Yeah. And a year later, VHS wins. <clears throat> if Phillips only did that with the 3DO as well. They just put porn <laughs> right, on the 3DO. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, interactive porn on, v on 3DO? Oh, that'd have been the shit. Dude, someone said... This, this is a little off topic, but someone wrote on our comments that someone had a Turbo Duo at the convention and wanted to know if I picked it up for 200 And I'm like, I didn't see no Turbo Duo for... I saw an Express. Yeah. But I didn't see a duo. For 200 Yeah. Man, I saw a schmuck trying to sell the fucking TurboGrafx-16 regular console for 300 Yeah, that's I saw that one. And the guy wanted, what, 550 or 600 for the Express? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember the Express now. That That's the... Uh, that's the handheld. The handheld, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's say I'm getting... I'm getting we're getting lost in the comments here. Let's see... Uh, uh, that game is fucking awesome. Evil Dan, uh, Sea Slayer, the CR cassettes, vagina hiding snakes. <laughs> uh, let's go back to VHS. No. William says, well, VHS, nope. I had some VHS tapes in 1998. Kid videotapes with movies. Heck yep. yeah. Everyone did. What about vinyl video discs? Oh, God, those were. Those were. Oh, I barely remember those. Those, but... those were rough. I remember that Tecmo video on it, though. It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Skittles says, Welp, I'm heading to sleep now. All right, buddy. Have a good night, Skittles. We appreciate you popping in here and commenting, man. Much love. You have a good day. Good day tomorrow. Rudin says, uh, I love watching the VHS tape every now and then. Every year or so. <laughs> huh. I don't have a VCR myself. Uh, I had a really nice one. Like an, like an SVHS. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having one. Just... There's a couple, like, 
there's like a tape of our band playing back in the 90s. Oh, right. And um, a couple nice. things I wouldn't mind transferring to digital. <laughs> there was a wet t-shirt contest after we got done playing, too. That oh, was yeah? That's on that tape, yeah. And then there was like some some couple was like getting it on like on the beach like 50 yards from us. <laughs> and I think they might have gotten a little bit of footage of that too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Slayer says, dude, Ice Cream Man movie with Clint Howard on VHS is, is expensive. How much is that something like that go huh. for? With old Ron's brother? Clint? Yeah, I imagine there are some VHS stuff because I mean... Man, there was a lot of direct-to-video movies. Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff that never got transferred. Yeah. So that kind of stuff is rare, and there's a lot of stuff that never needs to be transferred, too, but... Yeah. I imagine some of that Criterion Collection stuff might go for a little bit. Yeah, I could see that. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, do you have porn on reel to reel? I used to. The old seventies Swedish porn, baby. That was where the that was where it was at. Seventies <laughs> Swedish porn on reel to reel. Oh, 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 oh I, look out! I wasn't aware. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Real pain in the ass if your if your uh, uh, if your player goes out. You know, if suddenly the, the 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 mechanism stops working and the light bulb starts eating into your reel to reel. Oh. That's a bad day. Huh. That's a bad day right there. Uh, Assad says, personally, I remember VHS and audio tapes that had ads and promos along with movies and music. Oh, yeah. Like, old VHSs like that? Hmm. 80 bucks for what? You know, I think that's how, you know, DVD really took off because of the trailers. You could skip past the trailers a lot easier. On DVD than you could on VHS. Sometimes, and sometimes that, they'd make it impossible. Sometimes they did, but early on, yeah, that was like the big like. I mean, obviously it was the the increase, the better quality. I mean, there was a noticeable quality. You couldn't argue with that, right? Even off of Super VHS, it was a noticeable quality better difference. English words, huh? <laughs> but uh, the being able to skip past the ads was huge. What's funny is, like, if you watch a DVD now on a 4K TV, you can totally see all the pixels and ar artifacts, and <laughs> yeah. it just looks like crap now. But... I still remember The Matrix. The Matrix and Dirty Dancing, those were the first two DVD movies that they kind of released as, like, a, here, let's show you why, how this is so much better than VHS. Those were the first two movies, I think, if I remember right. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. William says, and I am using HD televisions that are newer eventually that phase out VHS VCR. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Saad says, I suggest you go with the Turbo Duo. You'll be able to do the first two Shoaniki games. Oh. Ah. You can't. I thought all games are cross platform, no? Hmm. I'm not sure. So I, says, I my cousin that. said they wanted $80 for it. For what? For that that VHS of the Ice Cream Man. Oh, I thought he was going to say, I think. he's offering me a Turbo Graphics for 80 bucks. I'm like, uh, uh what? <laughs> probably offering him his ass for 80 I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but uh, I know 80 is that much, but for that fucking movie, that's that's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> I don't even think Ice Cream Man's a good movie. <laughs> 70s reel to reel. Adds the new whole mooning. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> Indeed. What's your favorite Marvel movie? Says King Crino. Well, welcome to the stream, by the way, King. Mm. We're gonna do some Q and A here in a little bit. Yeah, we are. So save that Marvel movie question. I'm having. Appreciate good... you popping in here. Though. I, I know I've, we should be doing Q and A now, but I'm having a great time playing he's this having, turtles he's game. He's having some fun time playing this shitty ass turtles game. So we're just going to keep riding it. We'll keep riding it. We don't have to end right at 9 o'clock. We're just going to keep rolling with it. I don't know. These folks are waiting for an end. Oh. Well, uh, are they? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to keep reading comments, see what happens. Saad says, I remember when my old office first got computers with Blu-ray drives. Everyone was hyped to see Bollywood movies. Until we realized you could see the actors had dried and cracked makeup in <laughs> HD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember when they first went to HD uh, cameras on TV on the news and stuff. People, a lot of anchors were mad because you could see like the pock marks and the. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Slayer says, dude, we got a PC with a DVD player and surround sound. I remember us all in my kitchen watching The Matrix with the lights off on a 20-inch PC monitor. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, good stuff. We got that PC in 2000. Oof. Oofta. Oofta. That's like a... What's that, a 586? <laughs> Back in 2000? Back in the days of AOL discs being sent in the mail and all that. How many AOL disc coasters did you have? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't keep them. I know. I was never on AML, AOL. Oh, man, I did a couple times. I'd always get a free, here's a free, you know, yeah. 15 hours or something. <laughs> I'd use it, and then I'd run out and be like, damn it. <laughs> Back when you had to pay for internet by the hour. <laughs> so it says, we got our first PC in 1995. It came with multimedia encyclopedia CD with 100 by 100 pixel video clips running in single digit frame rates. Wow. <laughs> Old, uh, first computer I had was a... Uh, Moving pictures. Uh, it was a Radio Shack. Uh, what was the Radio Shack brand name? Tandy? No, it wasn't a Tandy. It was the other one that they had. Um, mm. fuck. It was the high dollar one that they they tried to sell. and They could barely do Photoshop. <laughs> oh. But uh, I remember old Dan B here. His his old man was, uh, you know, was er, a early a doctor. Nerd. He had like a... We had the 286, we had yeah, the 386, the yeah. 486. This was back in like 89, 90. Some of the early adopters of like some of the the intranet stuff. Yeah. I remember the first time seeing a, like a JPEG load up and it was kind of photorealistic. I was like, whoa, look at the <laughs> graphics. <laughs> Playing, uh, what the fuck was that game everyone played? It was like a, a space thing. And we were horrible at it, but your old man was like a high level. Oh man, was that on the BBS? Yes, the bulletin board system. It was on the bulletin board. Oh man, that was crazy. Commander Keen, Space Quest. No, it was like it was. See, we played um, on internet, so they were all like really simple games. Like you'd have like chess where you'd post one move and then someone else would do a move and then you could post a move but yeah. only like three people could log onto the bulletin board at once so you couldn't do it in real time really um but there was a space game on there it wasn't really graphically based yeah it was more like command command kind of based uh fuck i don't know it was wildly popular among everyone in the BBS, though, in, the, in that community. Space, I don't know if it was Space War. Space War? That sounds like it could be. Maybe. It was something something generically named like that. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, catch up by here. Yeah, we're going to go to Q&A uh, here. I'm just going to save Crino again. King says, saw this Ninja Turtles movie in theaters in my 11th grade. Disappointed there wasn't any Shredder, Krang, or Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, they got rid of all of that. Yeah, most people were. That's why it didn't didn't do well. Probably. Yeah. My high says my sister's always got us banned from AOL for trolling the chats and fucking with people. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> so Side says I remember AOL for a limited time. You could browse the internet for a low low rate of fourteen ninety nine per hour. <laughs> <laughs> I have never <laughs> when the AOL chat rooms first came out. I have never had so many people try to get my wife and I at the time into a three, four way swinging <laughs> type of thing. Like so many people would be asking us. <laughs> I mean, sex really did, did, you know, explode the internet, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> well, we're at that time, folks. Ask us. <laughs> math blaster? Nah, it wasn't math blaster. 
Ass Blaster, maybe. <laughs> Wish I could remember the name of that Radio Shack computer we had. It's not Tandy yet. It so. wasn't a Tandy. It wasn't Compaq. For what it's worth, sex had a way of causing explosions. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> Question: May I leave for a cigarette? <laughs> Uh, we'll probably still be here. Um, okay, are you going to give us a cigarette to leave? Because I'll take a cigarette if you're, gonna, if you're giving them out. Um, let's look it up. Radio Shack computer brand. Um, TRS-80s. Uh, one of TRS-80s. Tandies. I don't know what year would it have been. It would have been like 89, 90 maybe. Mm. No way was it a Tandy. I don't remember they making anything else besides Tandy, but yeah, they had a they had another had another brand. Spectrum? No. I'd know it if I heard it. That's alright though. <laughs> Them's my smokes! <laughs> if I don't see you after, then take care, everyone. Ah, fair enough. You go have your smoke, man. Take it easy, my high. Um, so, yeah, Q&A, before we go, we got time for a few questions. Yeah, we got some questions. What was, there was a question on there that, um... Oh, favorite Marvel movie. Favorite Marvel movie. Um... Hmm. I guess... The new Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Ah, <laughs> uh, favorite Marvel movie. I guess Endgame. I don't know. Endgame. I know that's a that's a bullshit response. It's not bad. I mean, I thought about saying it too. I thought about saying it. But I've got a couple that are in my top five. Like the first Ant Man movie, I thought was fucking fantastic. Uh, Thor Ragnarok, I thought was fantastic. The new Spider Spider Man three. Not not Spider Man three, but Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> These no last few Spider Mans have been quite good. The the Tom Holland Spider Mans have been really good. Um, yeah, so, something in that those lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you see any Rob? Rudin asked, did you see any Rob robots for sale at Mo Game Con? I don't remember seeing one. Them. There was one person that had one. <clears throat> I, don't know, I don't know what they were wanting for it. Uh, I know they're getting more and more rare now. Yeah. The games for the Rob, like Gyromite and shit like that, are getting rare too. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what they wanted for it, but I know I did see one. It was on a back shelf. They didn't have a price tag on it. Yeah. Um, I didn't even see that one, so... Question: Do you prefer original or extra crispy? <laughs> I like extra crispy myself. I mean, uh, his his you know, Colonel Sanders be damned. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like I, I like extra crispy as well, but um, yeah, these days I don't eat fried chicken, so I go for that rotisserie. <laughs> Um, what you looking for there? Though? Well, I'm trying to find that fucking Radio Shack name because it's driving me fucking crazy. Maybe it wasn't Radio Shack. Maybe you thought it was Radio Shack and it wasn't. I, I'm, I'm like very. They had to buy their Radio Shack. Hmm. <clears throat> like e machines or something was licensed to Radio Shack for a little while. They wouldn't have known what e machines was. Hmm. Um, question. What are the odds Ric Flair has another last match? <laughs> That's one for Dick Boots, because I don't know. What's the odds Ric Flair, Ric Flair lives another year? 
Is he that bad off? He was in he was in fucking death's door for a little while. He was very close. Huh. It was very close. Modern medicine saved his ass. But uh Oh wow, E Machines. Oh you remember E Machines, Great White North? They were like the budget computer. <laughs> Didn't Ric Flair show up as Colonel Sanders or something for something or another? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it all back around. Get my chicken! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, five years ago, he almost died. Oh, yeah. Of what? Like he had like a. I can't remember what it was. Huh. Uh, it was like a gastrointestinal thing. Maybe. That's unfortunate. Maybe. I could be wrong on that, though. But he had to have massive surgery. And, like, it was it was really touch and go there for a while. He was... There you go. Blockage in his bowels. Oh. Which placed him in a medically induced coma. That's crazy. And now he's back and fighting again? Well, for one last match. Oof, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's hardcore. Look fair Ric Flair is crazy AF. Won't doubt it at all. Oh, Evil Dan's saying Ric Flair might come back. Mm. Um Who is prettier? Princess Peach uh Kag Kagomi from Inuasha, I don't know who that is. Or Cammy from Street Fighter. Oh, I guess I'll go, since I don't know Inuasha very well, and if my choices are Cammy or Princess Peach, I'll go Cammy. Cammy's like the blonde. I guess I'm going to go Cammy as well. Yeah. I guess I'm going to go Cammy as well. Because Princess Peach is like, well, it depends which one you're looking at, but... Yeah. She, she got weird Popeye arms and uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like she didn't eat right, you know. <laughs> Too many mushrooms. God damn, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Rin says, I think she had him an annual last match. <laughs> till he dies, you know. <laughs> the match till he dies. The thirtieth annual last match for Rick Flair. <laughs> Until he dies. God. It must have been exciting to be there, though. Huh. I'd like to see his last match with Sting. Now, that would be very fitting. Yeah, that'd be cool. Wait, I thought this was his last match. There's never a last match in wrestling. It's like, it can always be recycled. Hmm. It can always be recycled. <clears throat> you think they'll ever bring Hogan back? Or is he too canceled to... <sighs> Well, they've brought him back into some, into like some, just like, you know, promo type things. Hmm. So, I mean, I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility to have him have a match. I don't know about that. Yeah. But with fucking Flair doing Dude, what he's doing, anything's fucking possible. The Iron Sheik had an awesome tweet the other day. It said, recession. Hulk Hogan, Hogan's hair has been in recession for the last 40 years. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> um, oh, Evil Dan's getting a question in there. Uh oh. It's King King Carriero asks Evil Dan: Shawn Michaels versus Eddie Guerrero or Jeff Hardy versus Sabu? Oh, oh well, I would take that first one. I'd take Michaels versus Guerrero any day. Last if, thing, if we're talking about matches that never happen. Um, <clears throat> last thing Hogan did was WWE host WrestleMania 37. Okay. What are they on now? WrestleMania 40? Mm. You still looking for that computer? <laughs> I'm back to guy. I gotta find it. Oh, man, it's driving me nuts. I don't think it exists, man. I don't think it exists. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. <laughs> are you, it, that's uh, what the pirate says. <laughs> pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel <laughs> down his pants. <laughs> what is that in your pants? I don't know, but it's driving me nuts. Arr, it's driving me nuts. Evil Dan says those would both be amazing matches. 
Right on. All right, folks. All right. Well, I'll have to ask my sister what that computer was because I don't fucking remember. Stick around next week. You may get the answer to that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Come back next week. It's for, you know, the, <laughs> the tension is building. You all want to know. We all want to know what the name of that fucking computer was. <laughs> <laughs> what has four wheels and flies? Garbage truck. We can't go out on that joke. Oh man, we come on, out. come on. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yikes. Man. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Nightbot had a had a decent joke earlier. But... Nightbot had a pretty good night. He didn't do too bad. You know, the whole, uh, can't, because they won't even, you know. Yeah. That's not a bad joke. That's not bad. All right, folks. Thanks right, for all. joining us. All right, all. We appreciate you. We do, we do. We will see you next week. Oh, I wish I would have. Dude, chum, that would have been so cool if you would have came. Indeed. Indeed. Next time. Next uh, time. Honey barbecue, brah. What? Uh, all right. All right, well, anyway. And on that. <laughs> Have a good night, folks. And uh, thanks for being here. We'll see you next week, hopefully. We appreciate you. Yeah. Later, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.